Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Python on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, to check whether Python is already installed on your system or not, you can just go to the search options and then search for CMD, which will give you this result, which says command prompt. So just open this command prompt. And here when you write uh, Python as a command and then press enter, if it doesn't give you any output and if it uh, give you this kind of window which uh, will open the Microsoft Store and it will give you this kind of output that means Python is not installed on your system and we can proceed with the installation of Python. So let's see how we can install Python. So for that you need to go to your favorite browser and search for Python and the first link which will appear here will be from python.org. So we are going to click on this link. Now when you uh, scroll down a little you will see uh, the download section here. You will also see the getting started section and docs and jobs section. We are going to click on this uh, latest version of Python link. At the time of making this video, Python 3.12.5 is the latest version. So let me click on this link. And then when you scroll down a little, you will see the files section. And for the Windows 11, we have this Windows installer, right? So we are going to just click on this Windows installer link here, which is going to start the download of this Python 3.12.5 AMD64 dot exe file so i'm going to just uh, click on this uh, exe file and let me minimize the browser it's going to launch the installer for python and now you can see python setup has been uh, launched so here you have two options one is install now and other is customize installation you also have uh, these two check boxes i generally check both these check boxes what it will do is First option here is going to give the admin privileges to the python.exe file. And the second one is going to add Python to your environment variables so that whenever you want to open Python using the command prompts from any location, you will be able to do it. So I will recommend just check both these options and then click on the install now button. So let me click on the install now button, which is going to uh, give you this kind of window, which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I'm going to click on yes here, which is going to basically start the installation process. And the installation process doesn't take too much time. So just wait for the installation to finish. So now after some time, I can see this message, which says setup was successful. You can also click on this option, which is about disabling the path length limit. So I'm going to click on this option and then click on yes here. And now uh, that warning is gone. So at this point, our installation is successful. I can click on this close window. And now to check whether Python is installed successfully or not, I can uh, just uh, click on the start menu and then click on all apps here. And then when I scroll down and go to the letter P, you will be able to see Python version here. So I can see Python 3.12. When I just expand this drop down menu, I can see the idle IDE, which comes with the installation of Python. I can also see this Python uh, 3.12 utility, which will allow you to uh, test your commands. And we can also use the Python command on the Windows command prompt. So let's try them one by one. First of all, I'm going to open this Python 3.12 uh, option here, which is going to launch this kind of uh, command prompt. And here you can see Python 3.12 uh, is open. And here you can evaluate your command. For example, I can write one plus one and it's going to give you uh, the result for this. I can also print something using the print function. And uh, let me just print hello world here. And once I press enter, it's going to print hello world. That means everything is working fine with my Python installation. 
Now let's check how we can use the idle uh, IDE, which also comes with the Python installation. So this time I'm going to click on the idle here and it's going to launch the idle IDE. Now here I can also run my Python commands. Let me uh, increase the font size a little here. So when I click on options here and then click on configure idle, I can choose the font and I can also change the font size. So for example, I want to increase the font size to 14 here instead of uh, 10. I can do that and then I can click on apply and then OK. And now the font size has been increased, right? Once again, I can uh, just give my Python commands here and it's going to give me the output. So once again, let's uh, print something and you can observe already here that this Python idle is little bit more interactive than the command prompt, right? It's going to highlight all your uh, functions and whatever you are evaluating uh, in different colors and formats. And it's also going to give you the auto completion prompt whenever necessary. And that's why these kind of IDEs are beneficial, right? You can also create a file. So when I click on file here and then when I click on new file, so you can evaluate your commands and you can also create a Python file and that Python file you can run with your Python command and uh, this will be called your Python script, right? So let's create one Python file. So I can click on the file and then click on new file option. And then first of all, let's save this file. So I'm going to just select file and then save as and choose the destination where I want to save this file. So let me just go to the desktop and then I'm going to choose the Python folder here. I already have this Python folder. You can create one if you don't have uh, this folder. You can name your folder anything. You don't need to give the name Python to it, right? Go inside the folder where you want to uh, save your file and then name your file. I'm going to name my file as test.py and then press enter, which is going to save my file in that uh, desired folder. Here, once again, I can just uh, write a very simple uh, uh, hello world script. So I'm going to just write hello world here, which is going to print hello world when I run this script. And then once you are done, just save your file. And once your file is saved, you can run your file from uh, this idle IDE itself by clicking on run button and then click on run module. And you can see the output uh, of your script. You can see it says restart and then the path to your Python file. One way of running your file is this one. The other way is you can directly go to the location where your Python file is uh, available. So I'm going to go inside my desktop folder and then in my Python folder, I have this uh, test.py file, right? So I can just press my control button and then right click here. And then you can see the open in terminal uh, option. I can also click on show more options. And then I have uh, other options here, right? So if you have Visual Studio Code, you can also open it with Visual Studio Code or other editors or IDEs. Let me click on open in terminal, which is going to open the default terminal in your uh, Windows 11. My default uh, terminal is Windows PowerShell. It can also open the command prompt, right? Here you can just write Python and the name of your file, which is test.py and then press enter and it's going to show you the output of that file. So you can run your Python files using Python command in this way also, right? Now uh, we have uh, seen how we can use idle to run our uh, scripts and uh, how to create the Python files. You can also open your command prompt. So I'm just going to write CMD and this is the command prompt. And here also I can just type 
Python here and it's going to open this kind of uh, Python uh, interactive shell or REPL and here also you can run your Python command in a similar way. So this is how you can install and set up Python on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.